My name is Alison Lambert. I'm a current council member. I'm also a pal, an active pal, and I'm working as a youth worker in Swords Baldoyle Youth Service. It's fantastic, because I've been through this myself. I've got my bronze, silver, and gold. I know all the pitfalls that young people will be facing along the way. So there is a lot of motivational work that you need to do to keep, uh, keep people's spirits high, because the gold is a long process. It can be up to nearly two years. Um, so there is, it, again, it, it's down to the, to the individual themselves who make it happen. We're just the people behind with the cheerleading squad for them. Well, what I love about Gashka is there isn't actually any set person or a set standard that people need. It's an individual award. So people aren't racing towards point systems. They're working against themselves. They are just setting their own standards and then working at their goals and how they're going. And that's what we do as pals. We discern what the young people's skill base, what they're good at, what they enjoy doing. And then we work towards building those goals. So the Gashka themselves isn't for any type of a person. It's for absolutely every young person that the President of Ireland has set this challenge for. Okay, so with the gold, you would have obviously maybe people have done a previous bronze or silver, or sometimes people just go straight to gold depending on where their life stage is at. So they will do a personal skill, so they'll find something that interests them that they haven't actually done before but would like to the challenge of it because this is what it is. The President of Ireland has set the ultimate challenge for young people. So a personal skill can be anything between, you know, a language, a mus musical talent, uh, sign language, anything that will give them a personal skill around it. Community involvement, they would look towards their, um, their local area to try and be active citizens within that partnership around what they can do. They can look, work with young people, they can work with elderly, they can work with whatever skill sets that they have. They might be working already in the GAA, they might be active in there. They might then try and go and um, be an active coach within, within that arena. Um, then we have the personal skill, the community, um, they would also have a physical activity and that would just be literally if they've tried they're going to have to pump themselves up to be able to be physically able to do their adventure so physical obviously if you're in a gym that's not good enough you're going to have to set your standards to what kind of a cardiovascular skill you want to be at the end what kind of standards you're going to have at the end of that so they will do that and then they would do the ultimate part of it which is the adventure so depending on the young person and where they're at, what the other young people are available to help them with their with their their journey they will go off and they can they've done amazing stuff people have been up the north pole and um, kenya we've people in the lake district there today there's just so many people it's inspiring what people's challenges that they put to themselves and how they make it happen why is it and why isn't it i suppose you kind of look at the recession times and we've had so much hardship going on, especially for young people when there's been such a, a lack of hope of opportunity. So to be able to bring them part into something, being part of something, I suppose for many years we've had the church beforehand and then that went, we had the Celtic Tiger, people were part of the consumerism age. So this, it's a hard generation for young people who've had so much and taken away so much in all one time. So to be an active citizen is to be part of something, to be part of their local community, because there's a lot of listlessness within the young people about distance around what they can be part of, what kind of skills have they got. And it empowers them, not only giving back to their community, but it also brings them up in their confidence um, their self-awareness. So if you're, if you're um, aware of other people's troubles, other people's strifes, then you're going to be a better person for this country. Thomas, uh, we, we love Thomas in the youth service. Now we're working towards Baldol Youth Service. He's also known as Podge, so I'm actually nearly finding it hard to call him Thomas as we go. Um, but he is a fantastic young guy. He's given so much back to his community. We were only talking about how much trouble he used to give his teachers in school, but now he's moving on. He's, he's um, he done so much work for this Gashk, and he really put his heart and soul in it. And it was literally every challenge he put to himself, he made it a hard challenge, because he's quite a competitive person. So he's he's going to be magical now for you for the interview. He's, he's a great guy. Oh, I'm so proud of him. It is, it's such a growing stream for him. We've seen, you know, people starting off with the steps of the progress of being with Gashka. It's like, could I do? Could I? Maybe I might be able to. And then to be able to fulfill all those goals and those milestones that you've set and to be there at that process 
that happens with a young person. It's just magical then for them to have this big day in Dublin Castle for the President of Ireland, who, whose name they've been doing it in for so long. They've, you know, on the Camino, which part it was, is to be able to say, I'm doing this for the President of Ireland. This is the challenge, the ultimate challenge he set for the young people of Ireland. So for him to have now the end result of a big day with his mom, um, his pal, his other youth workers here as well, just everybody just being so proud of him. That just, you could see the, the pride in him and I could see it in, in all of the other adults who are supporting him here today.